Well, they took us to a fancy steakhouse, like a private room, real weird, like alligator skin, uh, tablecloth. I wasn't very comfortable with that. They had TVs on the wall with DJs doing DJ stuff, listening to the headphones and running the equipment. But there was no sound coming out of the TVs. It was weird. And then it looked like they weren't entertaining anyone. So my question is, where were these DJs? Could they leave if they wanted to? It also remembers all your settings and preferences. But now we have this enable Windows backup. I know what you're thinking. And it's all the way at the bottom here, enable Windows backup. But wait, that's only part of the picture here. There's more. Here we are. Steve Weiner here from GetRemix.com. And today we're going to take a look at how to enable Windows backup for your organization. You know, and he asked the waiter, where are these DJs? Are they in the building? And we got a weird answer back. So, you know, I don't know what was going on there, but I'm pretty sure he was in on it. solving for the modern workplace. There are certain things that are really nice about the Windows consumer experience. And if you change PCs a lot, or well, not this, I don't really care about that. What is this? Go away. So when you're working on like your PC, right? Uh, one thing you might notice, especially if you switch computers a lot, like I do, uh, you go into Windows backup, you go into the settings, you go to accounts, Windows backup, and, and Microsoft is backing up uh, like third-party apps you have in, even if it can't get them back from the store, it's a list of apps. It also remembers all your settings and preferences if you wanted to. And, and when you sign in with the same Microsoft account, it'll give you the option to put all this back and combine that with OneDrive. And now you got all your files and folders too. This is one of those things where it's like, why is this just for the consumer side? And we don't have a good mechanism for this in the corporate world. And we've had enterprise state roaming and you have OneDrive known folder move. Letting an end user perform a full backup when they're going through a PC is like the, the final piece of autopilot. It's such an amazing thing, especially during hardware refresh, going from Windows 10 to 11, right? This would be so helpful. And now it's available that we can enable it into. So I'm going to take you through it. So the other day, this article came out talking about new settings available in Windows 11, 25H2. And among those, uh, we've talked about this the other day, which was removing the packages. But now we have this enable Windows backup. Hold on, it's 25H2. I know what you're thinking. How am I going to back up from 25H2 when my users aren't even on it yet? Don't worry. So this one's a little deceiving. It's not just 25H2. So if we head over to the actual documents for this feature, and it is in public preview, take that for what it's worth. Some things feel like they're always in public preview. Let's go down to requirements. So the requirements are split into two components. One is the backup functionality. Now what's nice about this, and we can zoom in here, is you're gonna see that backing up is supported on Windows builds all the way back to Windows 10 22H2. When you scroll down to the, when you look down at the restore capability, restore requires Windows 11 22H2 with the August 2025 update installed. And this is great because that means even though Windows 10 is end of support, it even tells you right here, it's still an allowed version in Intune. You can put it in Intune. Uh, have the policy run to enable the backup. And then if you're going to refresh machines or wipe them or whatever you're going to do to get them to 11, users can then go through the out-of-box experience and be prompted to restore their PC because it's going to be on a newer build. There's some other things we have to look at as well, specifically down here in the provisioning method. So this will not work if you're doing hybrid Azure AD join. Sorry, not sorry. A workplace join self-deployment mode, pre-provision devices, uh, if they're going through autopilot reset, manual enrollment of settings, enrollment via group policy, or using config man to do co-management. So yes, you are gonna be limited to the vanilla user-driven Windows autopilot, but it kind of makes sense too, right? If we're giving our users the ability to restore out of the box, we're going to assume they're going through the user-driven uh, Windows autopilot experience. So I think this kind of fits nicely. And for folks who are using other provisioning methods, well, then we'll have to look at an alternative solution. All right, so let's get this set up. We're gonna head to Devices, Windows, Configuration. We're gonna create a new policy. We're going to find this uh, Windows 10 and later, and we're going to select the settings catalog. We'll hit create. We'll give this a name, Windows Backup. Uh, Windows Enable Backup. 
call it what you want. I suck at names. We're going to hit add settings and we're going to search for, I think it's sync your settings. There it is. So it's admin template, windows components, sync your settings. Um, and it's all the way at the bottom here, enable windows backup. So let's go look at that and you're going to turn that on and we'll hit next and assign this to your group of devices. But wait, there's more. How is that? More lifeless, but wait, there's more. I think that was a good one. That's only part of the picture here. So we have to go to devices, windows, enrollment. And when we scroll to the bottom of enrollment options, you're gonna see windows backup and restore preview. Let's select that. So this is where you would turn it on for your tenant. So show the restore page. This is what determines whether the users will see the option during the out-of-box experience through the ESP, whether they'll see the option to restore or not. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's turned on. Otherwise the data will back up, but you, you won't be able to restore anything. So make sure that's on and click save. Now let's take a look at what the end user experience is. So I'm gonna boot a device, sign in, go through autopilot, everything you've seen before. But I'm gonna show you right after the enrollment status page where that restore experience kicks in. Okay, so going through enrollment status page, uh, out of the box autopilot, here we are. So I'm an end user and I'm being offered the chance to restore my PC from backup. This is huge. And if I click on more options, uh, I could, I could see multiple PCs or I could still set this up as a new PC. So let's let that restore. Okay. After a brief going through of ESP, it should take me to the desktop and this is going to be good because I'm going to get everything back, even not just the Intune stuff, all, you know, my, you know, settings that I adjusted, things like that. All right, so this is great. I'm going to have all my stuff restored, right? Even the stuff that's not from Intune, right? If I added any applications, if I have specific settings I want to keep, um, like I went ahead and I have some start menu things, like I put Notepad++ here, and that's not necessarily part of Intune. Um, I have a few apps that are mine that aren't, you know, deployed as well. I mean, obviously, I'm allowing it from Intune. And you can see this in action in the settings. You go to accounts. Windows backup, and you can see that's turned on. So remember my apps, my preferences, everything. This is everything that's being backed up. This is a great step forward for end user experience, uh, especially going from 10 to 11, right? This is the time, even though you're supposed to do it by now, a lot of folks are still getting it together with that. Hardware refresh. And you know, the number one question I get is what do we do with user data? And it's not just about the stuff in OneDrive. And there hasn't really been a good answer. You know, you think about uh, smartphones. Everyone restores their smartphone from a backup. You log in with your Apple or Google account and it's so easy. And we're, we're, we're really getting to that place now with our PCs. Combine that with OneDrive known folder move. And it shouldn't matter if your employees take their PC and, you know, hurl it into the ocean. I mean, don't do that, but you understand the point. With Autopilot, you'll be able to sign back in, restore from backup, have your files, SSO, and we're going to be ready to go. Let me know what you think about this in the Discord, and we'll be seeing you.